Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, if you are both ready and around. I'm all set. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I wasn't. I have a drinking problem here today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it went down the wrong throat. <laughs> yeah, it's um, lecture five, so we're we're kind of getting into transitioning from talking about um, looking at spectrum, looking at light, to figuring out figuring out how atoms actually work mathematically. And this was kind of the the avenue that was historically taken that. Um, all the observations about like the, the, the quantum structure of matter um, or the, the you know small scale structure of matter were literally coming from determining the energy that was emitted or released from those what we now call atoms and electrons passing through their energy levels. But we couldn't actually have a microscope to appear in there. Um, and more specifically, we literally just used mathematical models based on specific energies or wavelengths of light that we could observe and we pieced everything together in a mathematically, you know, coherent way to make some physically incoherent model, which turns out to be correct. And we'll get, we'll see the first uh, underpinnings of that today with uh, the Bohr model, hopefully. But so we're going to go through, um, finish up our talk about the four types of atomic spectra. Um, last time we went through uh, continuous, including the subset of thermal radiation. And we also talked about um, uh, reflection spectra, which are really kind of the, the, the null subset. Um, the one that doesn't really matter, just whatever's incident minus reflected uh, absorbed, I should say. Uh, but we'll talk more about um, specifically atomic absorption spectra and emission spectra. And um, I will, um, I'll relate that a little bit to astronomy, which is uh, relevant because we're, our department is getting a new um, atomic emission uh, 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 filters actually to use for astronomy so we can uh, zone in on specific wavelengths of different elements. Um, out in the universe. So I'm super excited about that. And I'll talk about exactly the wavelengths that we're going to be able to observe with our new uh, uh, astro camera. Um, 